Yo guys, welcome to Ram. my name is Vieko and today I'm going to be talking about a myth, a legend, a feature that's been buried for decades in CGI industry and I'm talking about a photorealistic button. Now, a story about the photorealistic button generally started like 20, 30 years ago, whenever somebody would create a highly photorealistic image, people were amazed, and you would always have people asking, how did you do it? What but what what exactly buttons did you press? And then there was always this one guy who would, you know, jump in the story and he would say, oh, you just press the photorealistic button and that's it. And people were actually looking for this photorealistic button, but they never found it, so it's a myth. And we were all laughing at it, and, and, and those guys were laughing at it, and now a AI is laughing with us. That's the, that's the problem. AI is laughing with us. Anyhow, today's topic is, uh, should you be afraid of, of AI taking your life, taking your job, your wife, your husband, your dog, etc.? Short answer is, uh, probably not. <laughs> so, so there are a few things that you need to understand. AI is not a one-click solution. It can be a one-click solution to multiple tasks, but it cannot be a one-click solution for all of them. All these new kind of crazy, you know, scenarios are happening with AI. People who don't know how to draw a circle are suddenly creating all these, you know, amazing images, etc. And of course, we're, you know, and of course we feel threatened, you know, like there was this this whole drama on an art station where, you know, everybody had those thumbnails with AIs crossed. And of course, you know, people are going to rebel because it is scary, you know, to be honest, it is, because we never seen such an advancement in technology, you know, we are kind of used to, to have this curve of advancement all the time, and then suddenly, you know, that curve went like this, this, and then now it's this, you know, that's the, that's the problem with AI, and of course people are going to be scared of it. But in general, I was kind of, you know, looking at AI for the last two years, and I was, you know, kind of trying to understand it, use it a little bit, and now I'm relatively use it, using it in work a little bit already, and what I generally noticed AI is is not a threat that's gonna take your project it will not finish your job completely it will help you it will speed you up tremendously that's what AI will do AI is bringing a whole new set of tools which are gonna expand your maneuverability in your project on your final image whatever that's what AI is doing right so the same as if now a new software, you know, get, gets released that does, I don't know, something, you know, that that's the AI now. AI is, is, is a new thing that, you know, offers new abilities. So Photoshop recently got the generative fill AI. So I also wanted to try it out because I wanted to see if I can generate more render and videos. So I extended the image and I'm just going to make a selection, click on this generative fill button and click on generate. And there you go. A new set of render and videos. Check them out live now subscribe whatever jesus this is the first time i ever said like and subscribe on my channel so that's what this new uh, generative fill does you know if you take an, like, an image like this this is my dog who's happily walking and you can just take this crop you know and just extend it here extend it there and you make a selection let's say here and here you click on generative fill hit on generate and there you go if somebody showed me this image and asked me you know like uh is what do you think of this photo i would have zero doubts that this was somehow digitally altered it just looks like a random photo you know and that's that that's the thing you know this is a new tool this is a new tool that's just being you know introduced to us so don't fear it you're just gonna use it you know it will speed you up if you need to add some stuff you know to your to your renders and you don't have time to render them etc you can just write a prompt and it will add those stuff now you're thinking but everyone can write prompts, that's the problem, because I'm learning my skills, you know, for years, decades, and now, you know, some random dude is gonna, you know, come into, into this whole play and he's gonna, like, you know, make a selection here, click on Generative Fill, and he's gonna, you know, type Sleeping Cat, hit on Generate, and there you go! You have a cat on her back and she's sleeping, and look, this looks absolutely real. Amazing, this is good good all right this is relatively okay now this is what ai does today ai has the ability to create 3d models uh in blender you can even uh 
texture your whole scene with it. Uh, you can arrange objects in your scene with AI. For example, if you tell it to make a teenager's room, it will know that the room needs to be messy and it will, you know, rearrange all the all the props that you have like scattered on the floor, etc. So it will bring in a very smart set of tools. But all those tools are not a one-click solution altogether. And this will just be a new add-on. This is just a new software, a new plugin that we're using. And that's how I see AI and that's what kind of brings me peace in you know in myself because on the other hand you know it's not like we can do something about it it's here and it's gonna stay here so you know adobe has it now uh for max you already have a couple of scripts that introduce chat gpt into max i believe max will have it in the future all 3d softwares it's just gonna be a part it's gonna become a standard part of all things why is it scary why are people scared of it now this is a good question because if you take a look at let's say 20 years ago global illumination was a super new feature right and only super computers were able to render it it was this you know hardcore thing i remember i was rendering like 500 times 500 image with global illumination and it took me like nine or 12 hours to render it you know it, it was crazy now you open up your max you fart and you get global illumination and it's practically real time so what ai did he literally like i like to imagine it like that he took like that 20 year gap and just squeezed it into one year and hit us you know on the head with all these new features and of course we're gonna feel afraid of course we're gonna be scared of it it's uh, i mean it's 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 a normal thing but i think it's very important that you just remember that all of this are you know just a new set of tools which we need to learn i think that that in general you know if you if you ignore the whole ai development you might have you know a higher chance to uh for your job to be at risk but you know on the other hand if you are researching ai constantly and just following the development of ai try to experiment with it try to use it in your workflow you're going to be gaining what ai is offering and that is a major major speed and a major boost that's that's the biggest thing with ai a new set of tools which are practically on steroids so yeah my general advice is don't fear it embrace it it's here to stay. It's not like you can do anything about it. And I think we will all generally be fine. I hope. But before we end the video, I just want to give a heads up to Evermotion. They have end of school sale, sport and hobby collections now 30% off. So all these cool props are having a 30% discount. So head over to Evermotion website, check these out. These look high quality. They're not made with AI. They're actually carefully crafted by super talented team in Evermotion. So check these models out. They look awesome. And see you in the next video. Bye.